Hello guys, it's me, I'm Radek from Duomni and today we will learn something super cool. We will learn serverless. But before we will start, remember about giving us thumb up, subscribing our channel and turning on notifications so you will know about new lessons of Amazon serverless immediately. Again, it's me. I'm Radek from Duomly, and today we will learn how to build application with serverless. Actually, in the previous episode, I showed you how to what is serverless, why it's good to use it, how you can save money with that, and some more stuff about serverless that it's super interesting. You can find it somewhere on our blog, or maybe if I will not forget, I will add it to the description. If not go to the block and for sure there is. So today we will be learning how to build Node.js backend for serverless, how to deploy that, how to add payments, we'll be building SaaS application. So as the first we will set up the project, next we'll do authentication, login, registration and next we will be making orders, creating premium accounts and we will add payments. In the last episode I will show you how to monitor all the application with lambdas. Today we will be doing project setup. I will show you what you need to install, what you need to configure, how to configure Amazon CLI how to set up the MongoDB database and we will start the project offline so you'll be able to see if it works or no. I hope it will be for you. Are you ready? Let's start! As the first step, we need to install serverless. We need to use npm and install it globally. Next, we need to install AWS CLI. If we use Windows on Linux, we can use pip, and if we use Mac, we can use Homebrew. Actually, I would say in Linux, we can somehow install with Homebrew as well. Next, we need to configure AWS. Here we need to add our access key, next we need to add our secret key and next we need to set up default region. I have like US East 1, it depends where you are located, you can take a look on AWS which region is the best for you. Now we can start creating our project in serverless. We will use template AWS Node.js and next we'll define name of the project. Okay, our project is created. Now we can focus on next settings. First, we need to initialize our package JSON and hold the npm repository into the project and we can start installing dependencies. We will need few. Now we need to add the serverless offline 
that will help us to start application offline on our local environment and test that. Ok, now we need to go into MongoDB Atlas, go into connection and create database that we will use. Our first collection, it will be users, but we will need one more that will be named orders. Next, we should initialize our git repository and add file secrets.json into git ignore, so it will not be in our repository. We should take care to never push our keys or secrets into our repository. Now, in the secrets.json we need to create db connection string and jvt secret. About JVT secret you can put whatever would you like, but about DB you need to put your connection string for MongoDB Atlas. Great, and now it's almost the last step because we will be clearing the serverless EML that is created by default and we will add some own configuration here. Let's take a look how I did that. Here we will define the environmental variables that we will be able to access later by this process.env.name of variable. It's kind of cool. Ok, great, it looks like our server is ready. And now let's take a look on testing, if application will start working. Let's test it now, we will see if it works. Yes, it looks like everything is fine. Your configuration is ready. Congratulations! Congratulations! Now you have your Amazon serverless project setup done. 
you can start developing new features. I'm super happy you learned that and you know how to do it and I'm more happy in the next lessons you will learn how to start adding add points, how to do authentication and how to start building the proper backend on serverless that is super cool, super secure and super cheap to maintain. Thanks for watching, if you like the video give us thumb up and subscribe the channel and turn on notifications so you will know when will be the next lesson. Next lesson is super important, remember you need to watch it. And see you in the next video, bye!